Henson with the Stars. He's been seen with the touring with the Jonas Brothers. He is live with us here in the Blue Colt Studios, Mr. Greg Garbowski. Yes. Hi, Greg. How are you? It's so nice to have you here. It's great to be here. Now, the first thing I want to do is say thank you. We appreciate taking time out of your busy schedule to come and meet with us. Of course. Of course. Anytime. Now, I've known you for a really long time. I think I've known you since, what, 1998? Yeah. It's a pretty yeah. long time. But I have not seen you in three years. I've been a little busy the past <laughs> three years. Now, I'm sure we've got a lot of talented MCC students out there listening who are musicians and want to be musicians, and they would love to know, how did you get started in music? Um, well, it all started when uh, I, my father actually had a drum kit in the house, and I used to play it, and, uh, and then got a bass guitar for Christmas when I was 13, and then met up with your son <laughs> and some other guys in middle school and, and started a band, and that really helped me come along, learn to play with other people, and and then uh, next thing I know, I'm here being interviewed by you. <laughs> now, I understand a question was posed in Miss McHenry's math class in eighth grade. That's right. Do you remember what that question was? I was asked to be in the band Level Zero in eighth grade math class. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't because I was good at the bass or any good at any <laughs> instrument. It was uh, just because I owned one. <laughs> And that's, that was all the qualifications it took. So you had the instrument, so you fit the part. Yeah. Now Never did, played it. <laughs> did you always know that you wanted to play the bass? or? Yeah. I, uh, I always loved like rhythm instruments. I started out on the drums, and uh, bass is, is really a rhythm, rhythmic instrument. And, uh, and yeah, it, it fit together really well. I don't know. So how does it feel now to be on tour? I know you came to be on campus with us tonight, and you saw that there was a line to get some autographs and things. How does it make you feel when you're out there and you see your public? What is your reaction to all of that attention? Um, I think that uh, if a Jonas Brother walked in, I think I'd be quickly ignored. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's, it's cool. I always love meeting, meeting people and getting their feedback on what songs they like and you know, what they like about the shows. Um, yeah, that's my favorite part is, is I'm able to interact with people and and uh, really get a feel for what they like about the show and, you know, a little bit more accessible, I guess. So I'm going to back it up a little bit, back to your days of Level Zero. I know you went through eighth grade with these guys. You mm -hmm. went through high school. You guys became a band. You were out there performing, and then you graduated. Mm -hmm. What happened after that? Um, well, yeah, Level Zero is the band that I was in uh, middle school and high school. Is my it's the local band that we were you know rehearsed in in the basement and then went out and played some local shows. Um, after after high school, I guess it, I just kind of came to grips with the fact that music wasn't going to be something I was going to do with my life, and so I was like, all right, time to put this away and uh, and then start focusing on a quote unquote real job. And uh, couldn't figure one out when I was at college. I went to Seton Hall for one year. And then, thankfully, um, a couple weeks after my freshman year, I, I auditioned for the Jonas Brothers. So you got a call for the auditions um, while you were at Seton Hall. Do you remember that call? Yeah. It was, uh, it was a pretty, pretty hilarious day. I was at a Phillies game, and I got a phone call, and someone just asked me if I wanted to audition for this group that was going to open for the Backstreet Boys. me to fly and I am what I am. Oh. I had about a half hour to learn both of them and then uh, it was time to face the jury and, and that was it. So how long did it take before you realized that you had actually gotten the job with the Jonas Brothers? It was five days of sleepless nights and I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. I mean no one knew who they were yet and uh, but I knew like this could be something big and uh, so I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to change my life like this. So what happened when you left Level Zero? How did the guys feel about you leaving for another band? Uh, I think like a couple a couple months before I had actually auditioned for the Jonas Brothers, I kind of let them know that I didn't. I wanted to focus more on school and and my, a career and uh, and I don't know. I guess it just worked out with timing. But I mean, I still I'm still friends with all those guys. I just saw them last week, and uh, you know, it's more about the friendship. Well, I think they still absolutely love you because we got in touch with them a couple of days ago and Ryan, the lead singer of Level Zero, said that his one word to describe you would be loyal. Oh. And your friend Danny said genuine. But your guitar lead guitar player, Josh, at the time, he said that he had to call you super awesome because <laughs> he wanted two words. He didn't want just one. Oh. I wish that uh, some girls would use that to describe me too. <laughs> what? Well, we'll be back with that question in a minute. <laughs>
Right in? now we're going to play with you, you set out already. to rule the world. This is a brand new, this one was one that you wrote yourself. Yeah, I wrote this a couple months ago, um, right before I left for tour, and uh, actually your son Josh came in and was kind enough to play trumpet on it, so hope you enjoy it. Set out to rule the world by Greg Garvowski. Studios here with Greg Garbowski, musician and bass players for the Jonas Brothers. So now I'm going to have to ask you, you did your audition for the Jonas Brothers and you found out that you got in the band. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember the very first time that you ever heard one of the songs that you played on on the radio? Um, I think the biggest, the, the, actually the, the biggest honor for me um, was this past summer they, they released this song tonight that I wrote with the Jonas Brothers, um, and they released it on iTunes, 